Welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners and today we're going to be take a little tour of my Walmart. We're going to go in there. I've done videos and everything else on this and we're going to see what's going on in there. There's a lot of stuff that is happening in this world that people need to be prepared for and we're going to see what the prices are. We're going to see what's available. We're going to see what they don't have. I've been hearing a lot of things. I haven't been in Walmart in a very, very long time time so i want to go in and want to see for myself i usually do an order and either have it delivered or i pick it up because i really don't want to go in the store so let's go along on this journey we're going to see what we can find you people really need to be realizing there's a lot of stuff that's going on with the walmart corporation they are hurting they are in trouble they are cutting their expectations for this year they're cutting a lot of different things which makes a lot of the analysts very nervous that the largest company in the world is having problems so let's go along on this ride and let's see what we can find out and see what's going on inside so hey ladies and gentlemen here we are we're at walmart i haven't been in walmart in um probably about two months so let's go in and see what is going on first thing you notice when you walk in the store is clearance racks clearance racks clearance racks clearance is everywhere wow well, the Mountain House and stuff, they still have that, $9.97. They don't have quite the selection that they used to. But, hey, at least they do have a few on the shelves. That's at least I could say. The rest of the camping survival gear and stuff, as far as things that you could use, well, that was pretty scarce right there. Um, that's hurting. Did find a whole stack of these Coleman two pack for nine eighty seven. Nowadays, that's really not a too bad of a price. Expensive, and then you know, I did find some canning stuff, uh, vacuum seal bags, and all this kind of thing. Well, you know, I mean, it's better than nothing. They do have a few things, but I did find something else right over here. The mother load of canning jars, a whole pallet full of these things. Um, different sizes and everything else, they're all $11.97. So if you need canning jars, lettuce, well, produce is just sucks in this Walmart. As you can see, all the brown spots and everything else, I had to dig through the lettuce there to find something that was good. Amazing. Bananas, green bananas. Now, look how green these damn things are. You cannot imagine there is not any. I had to go through and pick out some of the ones that were starting to turn. This bunch right over here will do. And this way here, maybe they'll be ready by next week. Uh, the other produce, yeah, there's not much. They had a lot of empty bins of all different types of products and everything else. Potatoes, well... There ain't much to pick from here. A few bags. Frozen potatoes. Well, that's a different story. Um, not really a lot at all. And you get over here to the tuna fish and things. Tuna fish has gone through the roof. Um, it's getting real expensive just to buy tuna fish. Even just a, you know, chunk light stuff. You know, I mean, you can get a four pack for four thirty four. But, I mean, still, folks, it's getting expensive out there. you got to get on the bandwagon soon before these prices keep going up, which they're going to do. And we get over here. Look at this Spam. Spam. three fifty eight dollars a can for Spam. Lunch and meat from Great Value? $1.98. I think that one's better. Now, this is the uh, roast beef right here, the canned roast beef. That's only had a, just a couple of the, the Walmart brand, the pulled pork and all that. They didn't have. They didn't have any of those types of products. The rice section, rice and dried beans, speaks for itself. Not much there. Now I tell you, folks, where's things going? Canned potatoes used to be 60 cents a can. Now they're 88 cents a can. They do have some vegetables and stuff in cans. Not a very large selection, but they do have some. But the prices have all gone up. Green beans are 58 cents a can now. 
tomato sauce the cheapest tomato sauce that you can buy is the hunts and that's a dollar 18 a can but if you get the traditional you can still get it for 98 cents but if you want the pasta to go with it well forget that folks because that just ain't gonna happen there's not really a lot to select from there was two people down through there looking for different products couldn't find them no butter either unsalted butter yes they had unsalted butter but no regular butter and if you want to buy the two-pack atlanta lakes wow take a loan out 10.58 meat well that's always a, just a disturbing thing here at walmart they just never have a really lot of different cuts of meat uh, chicken and pork and stuff you see it's pretty much empty we get down here to the chicken and yeah they have a few packs here and there but not a lot to choose from um, it's getting to be a real sad shape here folks really bad and then we hit the baby formula look at this it's still pretty much empty yeah there are some products on the shelf now but compared to what it used to be and then we have to come up here and read the sign thank you well it's been a while since i've been in walmart but hey uh they didn't really have a lot of products in there they had a lot of empty shelves and they're all talking about oh it's because of the hurricane and everything else you know and you have no meat no nothing what <laughs> they stopped slaughtering pigs and making butter and uh milk and all that i don't think so stuff's going on out there folks you got to get prepared however you got to do it you need to do it now just saying